Welcome back to another video. It's Friday, the 11th of October. Today, me and Simon and the beacons, sort of the Western beacons, not far from the Carmarthen vans. And tonight, we're going up to Van Gehirik, a summit we haven't been to before. We've parked the, the car about a mile down the road, and Simon's not impressed because I could have parked there. <laughs> Where's the research? Where's but I didn't. Research? I didn't know. I thought that was one car park, and that was it. But we're going to climb this style now. Head up that way, and Van Gehirik is that way, and that's where we're heading. Got to be fair. Lovely weather for a wild camp. We finished work. Got in the car and headed straight up here, like so. But it is steep. We're at around 350 metres, so we've got just under 400 metres to go. Not expecting much wind tonight, although the temperature is going to drop to about 1 or 2 degrees. So we've got our down bags tonight. Oh. So yeah, should be fine. Look how steep that is. Simon's cursing me, because we could have parked closer. Down there you've got the Cry Reservoir. And the route we planned to do on the OS map was um, around a two hour hike, but we haven't got time for that now. It's gets dark about six o'clock. So, yeah, we've got to get up there. Already the views are opening up. Over that way you've got Pickest D, Van Brokeniog. Done all those before with Danny, Rush Outdoors. If I remember rightly, that was a tough hike. I think we done six summits and then went down to the lake, Clinton Van Vauer, or Vach, whatever it was. We'd done a camp down there. Yeah, good night that was. Yeah, so Mark said earlier, that um, we've parked in a lay-by, well it's a car park, proper car park, and he thought it was the only car park on the stretch of road, but we've passed, we've walked about a half hour walk to the start of the, the hike, or well, start of the main path to the, to the mountain, and um, we've passed two car parks and two lay-bys to get here, so you can make it up, could you? We should have driven down the road a bit further just to, just to check it out before we actually park the van, but no, that's too easy that is like. So anyway, we're up here now, well, sort of up here, we're like, a bit less than halfway I'd say. There's the, there's Van, uh, or Van Gehirik, it's called. So, but it's, uh, so I'll have a steep climb to start the start of the walk, like you know, so start to level up a little bit you now, so it's not too bad. As we're making our way up, I'll point out a couple of summits to you. One on the left is Van here, and the one in the middle is Van Brokeniog. It's so peaceful. Like I said before, you've got the Cry Reservoir down there. We haven't seen anyone yet. And we're not likely to, I'd say. It's starting to level out a little bit now. Just got to follow the path up there. You can see it goes up to the summit. So I'm not a million miles away now. We're at 600 metres. 
just got my final push now to do the rest of the 125 meters to the summit. It hasn't been too bad. We've got up here quicker than I thought we would have. Never know, we might, might have a sunset tonight. Well, we're going to have a sunset anyway, but hopefully um, the clouds uh, stay like that. Should be okay. And you never know, we might get a sunrise as well. Got to the summit of Van Gehinnick, 725 meters, and uh, it was pretty much straight up, steep all the way to the top. Uh, my breathing got more conditioned towards the end of this hike, to, you know, when I got to the top. So whew, that was how going I was. But there's a trick point. Let's go and tap out. Come the Ambiff, wheels forever. And I'm not walking there. How do we get over there? <laughs> what the? I don't think there's any easy way, so I'm... This trig point got a moat around it. Ah! Thank you, Herrick. And on this side we've got Omar Oheed. Still here, still here. Come on Simon. My boot's gone under. <laughs> Look at that. Uh, I think you're dry though. There's another one in the box. Yep. Right. Let's try and find something to put a tent. We've got to go back over the moat. I think we found our spot. Three pointers over there in the distance. And by this pile of stones, we got some what appears to be level flat ground. Get a couple of tents there. Got nice views of the reservoir and the surrounding mountains. The sun's going down over that way. Let's get the tents up. So there we go then. We found a nice flat level area. The good old MSRs are back out again. Look at that view, absolutely stunning. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to set up a camera and aim it right over there. We might get a bit of a sunset going. We'll have a look, see how it turns out. But in the meantime, we're going to stick our bedding in. And I think Simon's got a new bit of kit to show you tonight. So we're going to do that and then Probably go crack a can of the Herefordshire fire water and have some food because I am starving. Right, we'll bring you back in a bit. We're both using our down bags tonight. I've got my firmer rest pad and Simon's using the flex tail um, pad which we got sent from flex tail for nothing. So he's going to review that and he's going to 
see what that's like tonight. It's gone a bit nippy now, I've got my rab gloves on, down jacket and long trousers on. So yeah, the temperature's uh, really dropped. I'll show you around. Over there you've got the central beacons, uh, the uh, Penavan, Corndy. If I look around over there we've got the Carmarthen vans. So yeah, decent spot this. And we've been meaning to come up here for a long time but just haven't got around to it. So uh, we said last week, yeah, let's get up there have a camp. We haven't done a tent camp since, is it July or August? I don't know. I think it's July. But anyway, we're going to have some food now and a couple of cans. We've been sent a new sleeping pad free of charge from Flextail and it's the Flextail Zero or R05. Um, it's a four season sleeping pad. I think the R value is 5.4 I think off the top of my head. Um, but what I'm doing, I'm testing it out tonight and I'm going to do a separate video, like a review video, so I'll be coming on the channel as well. So I'll give you my thoughts on it and if you're interested in buying a new sleeping pad, maybe this is the one for you. So yeah, if you look out for that video. and. Uh, check it out so far it's pretty good um, it's nice and big it's bigger than my firm rest um, it's really thick it's like 70 mil thick in the middle and 90 mil uh, thick baffles each side one each side but it's really comfortable I'll give it I'll give it a 9 out of 10 for comfort so so far I'm liking it so yeah check out that video when it comes out Time to eat. Tonight I'm having the real termat beef stew. This is new on the market, so obviously I haven't tasted that before. So I'll give that a go. But with real ter termat, can't fault their meals, so I'm I'm pretty sure it's going to be good. I'm also going to crack a can of um, the Herefordshire fire water. So cheers guys, happy Friday. <clears throat> Tell you what, this is bra brass monkeys out here. <laughs> the temperature's really dipped. Look at that over there. Sun's going down. We got Simon's um, GoPro 10 doing a time lapse. Hopefully, it'll, it'll be good. We'll soon see. If it makes it to the video, then you'll see what it's like. It's been a while since we've done a tent camp. <coughs> but we're not going to wait as long next time, we're just going to get get back on it now and keep going out. We miss all this like. You know what it's like in the summer, summer holidays. I've been to Tenerife and that so you've got to keep the missus happy. <coughs> Right, filled our water, give it a stir, zipped it up, leave that for eight minutes, dinner is served. Let's give this a taste. This is a new one on me, beef stew. There's this new out. Let's give it a try. <coughs> Wow, that is lush. Real term, out, he keeps surpassing themselves. Mm -mm. Food's getting better and better. 
I don't think I'll buy anything else now. Like I've said before, it's not cheap, but <coughs> that's an 8.5 that is. Really nice. Try it out, real Sermat beef stew. <laughs> Lovely. Got a pretty good sunset over there. Pass the command of the vans. Just met a nice chap from Swansea. Um, he's up here with his camera and uh, he's hoping to um, get the uh, northern lights on film but he got some sort of app and he was um, looking at that and he said the likelihood of actually seeing it tonight is going to be really slim um, so that's unfortunate I feel sorry for him because he came all the way up here with his camera gear and uh, I don't think he can uh, I don't think he'd be seeing it tonight so he said yeah he was a nice guy he's gone back back over that that way somewhere <coughs> But there's a trick point, what's left of it, it's all rotten at the bottom. Amar Oheed. Awesome. Simon's cooking his food. What are you having, Simon? Something to eat, to pass the bolognese. They're not bad, these I've had before, they're pretty good. You can't beat real term at though, can you? Can't afford them. Nor can I. <laughs> expensive but when I'm camping I want a decent meal and you know you're gonna get a decent meal with them that's what I think isn't it you can't go wrong yeah. well I think the weather forecasters have got it wrong haven't they it was meant to be clear all night you've got some cloud rolling in there like I think tomorrow morning it's going to be cloudy, so... If it's not raining? Yeah, I don't think it's going to rain. I might even leave a camera out tonight and do a night lapse. You never know, we might pick up some of the northern lights. Who knows? Isn't it? Well, not a gun's that blue. <clears throat> we'll give it a go, you never know. Me and Simon are sat in our tents now. Having a couple of cans, like. Got the doors open. Playing a bit of music. He's over there somewhere. All the seasons want to yeah, just having a chill out now. Just sitting in our down bags. It's October now, it's a little bit cold. Got our hats on, down jackets. I've got Wales and Iceland on our on the phone yes oh my god so Simon's watching the scene tune in at the moment come on Wales we just watched a football finished 2-2 we got robbed <laughs> no we never second half rubbish game of two halves unfortunately anyway We've um, we finished our drinks and we're going to turn in for the night now. So good night and we'll see you in the morning. Good night guys.
it's about 10 to 5 and I've just been woken up by rain and it wasn't forecast the cell is going to be clear today clear skies dry <laughs> But no, they got it wrong, <laughs> like they always do. I do really want to dry my tent out today, but I'm going to have to. Oh well. That's life. It is what it is. So I'm going to try and have another hour if I can. It's a bit easy better. <laughs> Just sticking my head outside the tent and it's not very nice up here. They definitely got this forecast wrong. Well, it stopped raining anyway, at least. I think there's only one thing for it. <clears throat> Cup of coffee, I think. So we'll have a cup of coffee and pack down because we can't leave here until it's light anyway because it's really misty up here and we won't be able to see our way down so <clears throat> we'll have to play it safe wait till it's fully you know daylight um, obviously no sunrise this morning <clears throat> we were expecting one because like I said, the forecast, they got it wrong, so we can't win them all. It's been a good night anyway, we've enjoyed it. <clears throat> Trying out my new pad, which was, we've seen the results of, so yeah, it's been really positive. Show you our side again. Absolute zero visibility. I'm looking forward to drinking this now. We've had our coffees, now we're going to start packing down. So I'll start putting all my stuff in my pack and then finally get the tent down and put that away. And well, I'm going to have to dry it out now when I get home. Have a look at this. I don't know if a, if a steak's come out or something. I'll have a look now when I, when I get out. But yeah, and he's drying. I'll sort it out later. Right, let's start putting stuff away. Whilst I'm packing my stuff away, I just want to know if anyone else um, has this issue with the OEX Leviathan down bag. Because I don't know why, every time I use it, it keeps losing feathers. Look at them. Does anyone else have that issue? Let me know in the comment section, but I'm surprised there's any feathers left in it. <laughs> to be honest yeah so um, let me know in the comments I'd like to hear from you or is it just my bag let me know right tents are down we're all packed up ready for the off as usual no trace left that's where my tent was Simon's tent was over there. And look at it now, it's cleared up now. Would you have a mini bit? I know. Typical, always the same. <laughs> anyway, at least it's not raining for the walk back down. We're going to take a little walk over to the trig now, take some pictures, and we'll see you later.
we're making our way back down now hopefully you enjoyed that video and if you did give it a big thumbs up it really helps the channel out and if you haven't subscribed well like and consider subscribing it's free doesn't cost you anything we've got loads of things planned and next year we're going back to switzerland for six days six days this time last year i think it was or well, year before it was four days all the flights are booked and we're gonna carry on where we left off last time doing the via alpina gonna do three or four sections depending how we go when we go over there so yeah um probably more gonna be more like three it might be three yeah probably i think maybe three i think the next three sections 45 miles but yeah, we've got two extra days over there so though we might eke out another section who knows but the only way to find out is um, keep watching the channel so until the next video we'll see you again bye for now guys cheers bye. thank you